Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, we need to look at the market on FIFA Ultimate Team for this week and heading into the big promotion of Team of the Season. Talk about a few things regarding what's going on SBC-wise this week, what's um, in packs, as well as um, you know what we're gonna be seeing is with Team of the Season content coming up um, this week. And probably, I would imagine, uh, at some point this week, we're going to get some more information about Team of the Season regarding the Team of the Season most consistent. You know, EA likes to drop those um, web pages, those Twitter uh, posts where they have a web page that kind of takes you to EA's website and talks about, all right, this is what's going to happen during Team of the Season. We've seen it already this year with almost every promo. They've had a website page talk about what's going to come during the promo SBC-wise. Um, in the, the players and packs as well as weekly objectives they've all kind of talked about and given us a layout for each promo this year um, in that manner and in that way so for this video though I want to focus on more of the market stuff we know that team this season is coming and that's going to be the focus and the emphasis of this video now obviously we're gonna take a look at footbin because footbin has all the graphs that we need to decipher what is going on with the market right now. At the time of me recording this, this is uh, actually just like an hour after the game has come back up after being down all weekend. And I do believe that it is still, matchmaking is still down. You cannot actually play the game, which a lot of people are mad about. Let me see if I can get into a game right here of rivals. No, matchmaking is still disabled. So this weekend has just been an entire mess of the EA servers and PSN going down as well, and just a big time mess with the servers being down, gameplay, and matchmaking being disabled that um, a lot of people are just really fed up over it, and I bet it's pushing a lot of people away from the game, but it was just it'll, poor timing with Team of the Season coming up soon, but the hype is going to begin to build back up again this week. EA is going to tweet about it more. They're going to post more graphics. We're going to see more pictures, more concepts on Twitter. A lot of people are actually there. There is some motivation right now to go get this 100,000 coin pack from the weekly objectives. Uh, you see man of the matches that are up high and everything like that. But once the weekend league is done and you're going to start seeing people finish their games, I don't know when they're going to finish them because there's not been a lot of time to play this weekend. You're going to start to see the market go down. Now back over here to flip in and take a look at the index 100. We saw the market get pretty low last week, and it really hasn't gotten that low since. It's actually risen up a good bit. You know, 57 points on Friday. We're up here now at 65 points currently on Sunday evening as I record this video. Um, but I think it's definitely going to get back down to this point in the next week or so. I think you're going to see, again, a lot of a sell-off in your high-tier meta players that rebounded this weekend. Um, and a lot of those players rebound. You, go, you got Ronaldo that it was 9, he was actually 920. Footbin graph here doesn't show his lowest point. Early in the week, he was 920K and actually reached a million at one point Thursday and Friday this weekend. I would imagine that a lot of these cards continue to start to go, or start to go down and continue going down through the week, starting today on Monday, um, as people finish their games and sell, off, sell their teams. And, you know, it could it could start now when I'm recording this on Sunday night because people are getting on the game. They can't even play a game. Some people might just be giving up on the weekend league if we don't get another extension. It's, it's all kind of a mess. Um, so there's just a lot of negativity around that right now as well. But market-wise, I think this week is going to be a down, down, down week on the market. Now, the interesting thing is going to be towards the end of the week with Team of the Season most consistent now for a lot of cards last year stuff kept dropping um, obviously if we look on the market a lot of meta cards um, like some team of the years and stuff like that even like a gold Cristiano Ronaldo like we looked up on footbin a lot of that stuff continued going down when we look at graphs from last year it continued going down um, after the team of the season most consistent because a lot of people were aware you know this is just the most consistent team of the season and this is not the you know the big time team of the season premier league team of the season that everybody is going to get pumped about going to get hyped about and want to spend all their coins on and and build their teams for but this kind of leads me to talk to you guys about when is the best time to buy your teams so obviously there's going to be a lot of people that are trying out cards during this uh 
team of the season most consistent period and that's basically all that they're going to do they're going to try out a few cards maybe do some SBCs and possibly invest a lot of people will be investing during team of the season most consistent which is actually a pretty good idea because some of those lower tier team of the season cards will get to almost discard and we saw last year they were required um, in almost every SBC that gave out a guaranteed TOTS player and we're definitely going to look into that this year as well because I think that is a very feasible and um, but very possible option again so we'll look into investing in those later in the week as we talk through some things. Um, but this week is basically just a week to get your coins liquid. If you're going to trade, do some quick in, ins and outs. Of course, you know, the flipping is the best way. I, I say this all the time, but the flipping is the best way to make coins during the week. And I, I always talk about man of the match cards as well. I'm, I'm a broken record talking about man of the match cards. But these cards have extra demand right now because of the weekly objective, the domestic man of the match cards, uh, because... People are doing everything that they can to get packs for Team of the Season, and here's another way to do it. Weekly Objective, you complete all of these Weekly Objectives, you get a 100k pack, and I believe, yeah, here's the one. No, it's this one. Score five goals using domestic Man of the Match players in squad battles on minimum professional difficulty to earn a Mega Pack. So you get a Mega Pack from this, you get a 100k pack from this, Premium Gold Players Pack, I mean, they put some decent packs in here. And it's making people interested in going and doing that SBC, or excuse me, doing those daily objectives. Um, so that's what keeps the demand on the men of the match cards. Thursday flipping, we're going to kind of have to keep that uh, in mind as well. Is that going to be a good thing to do this week? I'm not sure. We're going to have to be careful with that. I'm not sure how many people will be buying headed into uh, community team of the season. And then Friday is going to be interesting as well to see what actually comes out with the start of team of the season. Are they going to release upgrade packs the first day? Are they going to release upgrade SBCs to get a guaranteed team of the season player the first day? Or are they just going to put it in the team and packs and stuff like that? So that's what I'm really interested to see this week is just get more information on team of the season as we go throughout the week. Now, obviously, SBC-wise in the store today, we get this uh, Mena, 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 uh, SBC. Very nice card, super sub. It's pretty cheap, you know, 83 rated squad and an inform. Uh, those are team of the season-esque stats. So that is a nice card if you want to do it. Um, if you're a fan of the Liga MX, definitely uh, get that card and do it. It looks like a pretty solid super sub as well. Uh, and just to try them out, I mean, you can do you can do a lot more wrong for 30,000 coins. And then if you're looking for Van Dyke, you know what, I'm going to check this out because I'm interested to see where his price has gone. I know that the the SBC for Antonio Valencia has made his price go up some because Valencia is about 225k. I think that will drop, but it has caused some of the high rated golds to go up in price. We go over here to Footbin, Young Player of the Year, well, Player of the Year. So Van Dyke is about the same at 1.03 mil, 1.09 on PS, and then uh, 1.1 for Sterling and 1.2 for Sterling on PS. So again, um, if you're looking to do Valencia or if you're looking to do Van Dyke still, if you're waiting for the absolute lowest point for these cards, uh, Van Dyke will still be available when um, Team of the Season Most Consistent actually starts. And so will Valencia. So we could see a lot of packs being open at that time. Some people will, might just give in and open some of their saved packs. Other people might hit some lightning rounds to just get more coins before Team of the Season actually comes. Um, the big leagues. So, you know, we could see a drop in the price of these SBCs. So if you're waiting to do Valencia, if you've got the loan version from Weekly Objectives, or if you've done the loan version of VVD and you want to do the big time version, the real version, um, that's an option for you guys as well as to wait until later in the week to get that kind of stuff. But this is just going to be one of those weeks where um, me being a little bit more cautious, I want to kind of take a step back, don't want to get too involved with investing. Uh, I'll do the quick flip trading, um, but I have the most coins that I've ever had. I don't want to do anything too risky um, in a market that's going to be trending down uh, to risk them that much and we haven't really started to see that sell off yet on the market just because of how the things have worked this weekend with nobody being able to get on the game but in the next 24 hours or so I do believe into this week you're gonna see the market drop off more especially as they announce more things for team this season but one other thing that I want to talk about this week that you guys should 100% start doing is starting to plan Planning is a huge point of team of the season, and we're going to release more planning videos this week on the channel talking about investments, 
um, and especially investments around team building. Wow, that is low. 5.5 mil for Mr. Ronaldo. That's what I like to see. Come on, get down there, son. Come on. Oh my goodness, yes, Ramos is low as well. All right, some of these team leaders are getting lower, and I like that a lot. I like that a lot because that makes me think about building teams and planning those teams out, and that's what I wanted to point out to you guys right now. Start to think about and build up and put together teams that you want to have. Well, you know, a lot of people want to build teams. I mean, look at this Black Friday squad that I have. Um, a lot of people want to build teams. Wow, this is an old squad. Anyways, I'm getting distracted from my own point. A lot of people are wanting to build teams during this team of the season promo. They've got their coins liquid. They've got plenty of things that they want to do on this game. And build a team is one of them. And, you know, I'm in that same boat as well. I need to make a concept squad this week of, okay, what players do I want in my team that is my end game team? And that's what you guys should really do this week is start to plan that stuff out and then start to get familiar with those cards' prices. Now, for me, I know that I want to have team of the year Neymar at left wing in my final end game team during team of the season, as well as the right wing Mbappe team of the year card, um, only if the player of the year version is not a higher rated card. So I want to have these two guys on my team. So I'm going to make a concept squad with both of those guys in it, start to dream up my team and then start to get to know their prices and watch them drop throughout the week and then start to monitor those prices and just get familiar with them. Um, and then kind of get the knowledge with those prices and you can start formulating a, a pattern a decision decision to when you want to buy your team because planning is a huge part of when you're wanting to build a team. So many people go and panic buy teams um, on Fridays when promos come out. They panic sell them before the promo and they buy them back a few hours later after the promo comes out. Um, so again, if you start to plan your end game team, whatever that may, may look like for you with icons, with team of the year cards, um, with doing an icon moments SBC and watching the gold market to see where the gold player prices go, that's one thing as well that you want to keep a careful watch on. A lot of these icons are just crazy, crazy low um, because there's just not a lot of demand for them as people can do the SBCs for a lot cheaper, 1.3 million there for Luis Figo, pretty cheap card. But, um, yeah, make sure you're planning this week. That's the biggest thing. Early on in the week, take some time. Take an hour or so or, you know, spend some time planning out what you want your squad to look like, um, what you want your endgame team to look like so that you can get familiar with those prices and know what players you want to watch in the final weeks here, which is such a big team-building part of the year. Now, we, I, my preview videos already where we've looked at the market, you've seen that there's a lot of good investments um, and things go up during team of the season because people build teams. Same thing's gonna happen this year. People are gonna be building teams, um, you know, even after the start of Premier League TOTS. So this week is when we kind of watch the market go low. And then next week, as we see the market heading into team of the season Premier League, if they continue with the same order as always doing Premier League first, that's when we're gonna be looking to buy a lot of our cards because there's going to be some hype from the community tots and then the premier league tots is going to be upcoming and that's where we're going to see a lot of the hype and more selling of some cards um, and we'll be able to make some investments as well during that period we'll talk about more of that stuff coming later this week we're going to talk about when to buy your teams when to uh, hopefully you've sold your team honestly your big mega team um, but buying teams i think it's a very important point and i want to focus on that here in the next week or so uh, because I want to buy a team as well. Um, and we're going to talk about upgrade packs, investments, gold investments, SBCs that are still out here in the store as well, and tons of other stuff related to team this season. But for this week on the market, I'm thinking another downturn, um, kind of similar to what we saw a couple weeks ago. I don't think it'll be this drastic though. You know, see here we went from 80 points on Wednesday to 65 on Saturday with the start of the team, the knockout stage promotion. Um, I don't think we're going to see that drastic of a drop, but I do think by the middle of this week, maybe Wednesday or Thursday, we'll see the market back down here around 57 points um, with a lot of the higher rated stuff going back down to where it was at this low point, and then it's going to continue to go lower next week, and that's going to be the fun time where we look at buying teams and a lot of stuff like that. So if you have any questions, drop them down below. I'm pretty open to answering questions down there. I'll, as always, like the videos if you enjoyed them, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.